Assalamu alaikum and welcome back everyone to chapter 42 of the Arduino series. In this video we're going to cover a liquid crystal display monitor that has the dimensions of 16 by 2 without the I2C module. Now for the components, we're going to use a breadboard, 3 female to male jumper wires, a minimum of at least 13 male to male jumper wires, I'll explain why later, an LCD monitor, and a potentiometer. Now for the fact that my circuit is very disorganized in terms of the wiring, I'm going to use the diagram which shows everything clearly. To begin with, the whole LCD module in itself has 16 total pins. Any LCD display that has a backlight or majority of them that have a backlight will have pins 15 and 16. So those ones are the only pins that, that range and sometimes are present or not present. In our case, it is. So we're going to start with the first one. The VSS is the pin that we're going to ground. The VDD is the pin that we're going to, is the voltage input. So we're going to connect the five volts towards that pin. The V0 is the pin that's in charge of controlling the contrast of the text, which is what we're going to connect to the potentiometer. The fourth pin, RS, register and select, will be connected to pin 12 of the Arduino. The fifth pin, read and write, RW, will be grounded. We have the enable pin, which is pin 6. We're going to connect that to pin 11. Now, the pins 7 till pin 14, these ones are dedicated for data transfer. Now, if you see here, I only have four pins out of the eight connected. This does decrease the speed of data transfer since you're using two packages of four instead of one package of eight. However, the speed, the decrease in speed is not noticeable, especially for the fact that our circuit is very small. However, if you do end up using eight and you do want that increase in speed, which is not noticeable, you will notice that your circuit gets more disorganized and it's just not worth it. Now, pin 15 and 16 are dedicated for the backlight and controlling it. The, the pin 15, you have to supply a voltage towards that pin, so it has to be connected to the hot wire, and the cathode has to be grounded. Now, moving on to the potentiometer, either sides can be connected to the hot or cold wire. It doesn't matter as long as your middle pin is connected to V0, the third pin of the LCD. Just make sure that your power rail is connected to the 5 volts and is also grounded. Before we move on to the explanation of the code, you do have to understand that we are using commands that are not part of the C++ language, which is what the Arduino is based on. For this reason, we do have to include the library that we refer the structure of our commands from. Now, to add libraries, you do have to use a specific command that begins with hashtag include uh, angled brackets and the name of the library dot h. In this case, it's liquidcrystal.h. Now, the next command that we have to learn and is important and has to be included every single time you use the liquid crystal library is the liquid crystal LCD and then write down all your pins that you're going to use. In this case, we are using the pin 12, pin 11, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, which is all the pins that transfer data to the LCD monitor. Now, I have replaced pin 11 and 12 with RS and E to show that we can use variables within the liquid crystal LCD command. Now, in the void setup, we have to use a command that activates the communication between the Arduino and the LCD. In this case, it's lcd.begin, and similar to the one that we've learned in the past about the serial.begin, instead of writing the board rate, here we write the dimensions of the LCD. Now, the first command that's found in the void loop is lcd.print, which is similar to serial.print. It presents what we want onto the LCD. Now, it always presents on the first row since the set cursor, the first coordinate is 0, 0, which is top left, unless we tell it otherwise. And this is done by using the lcd.set cursor command. Now, using the values that I've used as the example 2, 1, this tells the Arduino that the next first character is going to be presented on the third column, second row. Now, we're not going to cover this in this video. However, you are able to add basic animations such as making a fade in or out or making the text move to the right direction or to the left. Now, if the video was helpful to you, consider giving it a like. And if you wish to get closer to the community that I'm trying to build, there's going to be my Discord linked in the description.